my name is Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back to, well, another one and done uh, video, another one and done IP. Um, this one's a little bit different because this is something that I have, have not played on uh, my channel for a very, very long time. The very first video I uploaded to my channel was way back a few years ago. It was um, an ARPG and this is exactly what this is. And the ARPG I was talking about is Diablo 3. Um, if you guys are fans of Blizzard, you are very familiar with that, that uh, name. But for those of you who are not familiar with an ARPG, it's an action role-playing game. Um, a lot of hack and slash goes along with it and dungeon crawling, and this is what this is about. Now, I was contacted by the developer, or one of the devs from WRF Studios, um, who wanted me to play and review the game and let them know uh, when I'm actually uploading so they can see me or watch me play the game. So I'm really excited, kind of nervous about that idea. But uh, here we are. So this is called Bloodless, Bloodless 2 Nemesis. And apparently there was a uh, first install. I had never heard of it. But, um, you know, there's a lot of games on Steam that kind of go under the radar. So I'm glad that this was brought to my attention because this is something new that I get to try out. So we're going to go with it here. So we're here at the uh, character creation screen. And you guys... I love character creation. So I want to see how involved this is. We're um, going to get right into it. So it looks like we have three classes, warrior, witch, and thief. I love playing a rogue character or um, in um, Diablo, I play a demon hunter. That's like my favorite to play. So thief, we're going to go with that. Thief um, is dexterity, perfect. So there's a plus five to dexterity. I assume um, persuasion would be something else. So we have five points to spend here. Uh, we're definitely going female. So um, hmm, can we do like, okay. So let's give her more persuasion. Now intellect, so determines ability to gain talent points. Determines dialogue and intimidation choices. Yes, we're definitely going to put more in in um, persuasion. Maybe give her a little more. I don't know if she's going to be a glass cannon or not. So um, charisma, spirit force. I don't know if that's like for casters or not. Um, maybe a little more indexed. Uh, strength, okay, equip stronger items. Definitely want to put something there. Let's add a little more into persuasion. This is that for now. All right, so hairstyles, let's look at this. This is the most important part, of course. You know, we have to figure out what we look like. Okay, she's got a little bit of a badonk, a little bit. I'm here for it. She's thick, what is that? What is that like? Okay, that, that looks wrong. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna pretend that's not there. Um. So the hairstyle, ooh, I like the haircut. First out the, the um, bop, okay, that's cute too, okay. Um, okay, so let's, can we make her bald first to kinda, no, can't do that. Okay, we got it, okay. So we don't worry about the hair color, let's get the hair tone, let's get the hair tone, let's get the skin tone down. Can we scroll in and get a little further? No, lipstick color. I mean, I don't really wear makeup personally, but I mean, this isn't me, this is role playing, oops. Um, we'll make her, we'll make her a little bit darker. Um, let's go with the lipstick. This is kind of an underworld, um, ARPG. So I'm kind of feeling the goth look a little bit. What do y'all think? Actually, let's go with something a little daring. Let's get a little, a little daring with the red lipstick. Now I don't wear red lipstick in real life. Um, what kind of tattoo are we looking at? No, we're not doing the face tattoo. Um, what else do we have? I'm uh, not even sure what that is. So we're just going to forego the tattoo uh, for now. Um, let's give her a hair. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. I think I like that second one. And then we're gonna go for something, the hair color. What do we got? Oh, kind of like that. 
Let's go with black. Okay, so clan affiliation. I don't know what this is. The Bugatta clan, led by Giggler, is located in the abandoned dungeon in the heart of Chinatown. Their skill set includes skills as such as Vampire Gaze, Transform, Poison Slam, and Night Strike. Okay, so I'm wondering if the clan affiliation would um, coincide with maybe what our class is. So, the Zinchi clan, led by Largo, is located in the hotel near the south side of downtown. Their skill set includes um, such includes such skills as Secret Sight, Shock, Intimidate, Disarm, and Call Crow. That kind of sounds like a rogue or thief type um, skill set or abilities. So let's just keep going. So West Clan is, um, they're located in the catacombs near the yard. So they, they would be fire, backstab, mmm, rad swarm, and war shriek. Okay, backstab sounds very roguelike. So let's keep that one on. Wait, what's the plus? Plus, okay, so those are reps. Okay. And the V-Tau, the V-Tau clan led by Bu Tang. They have a freeze, trap, and summon spider. That's a no already because we don't do that. Um, <laughs> so Ubuntu, to clan led by Brain is located on, in the data center. Um, War Totem, Blood Strike, and Shield Bash. That's very warrior-like. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's see. I'm thinking I might go with huh. disarm, and I, I kind of like the idea of disarming and maybe intimidate. So let's go with Zenshi. I don't know if that's going to be a mistake or not, but we'll figure that out. We'll find that out later. So what are we going to name our girl? Hmm. Let's name her Shade because Shade ha okay, that was creepy. Shade happens to be um Shay actually happens to be my wow tune names. So we'll start the game. Here we go. Wait a minute, can we not use this? Okay, I was gonna say, can we not? So we there is a multiplayer um option. So if you want to play with um friends, you can. But we're going to go with single player since I don't know anybody that's playing. Um, and apparently you have to be level 2 to play multiplayer. So I'm not sure how the multiplayer works. I wonder if it works like Diablo. Okay. Here Rise and awaken. Okay, starting off pretty cool. Now, I will say before I begin, I was guessed I was given a key that will not deter me from giving you guys my honest opinion about the game. Don't leave. Okay, I'm not going Come anywhere. Come here. Um, see, that's creepy. That's creepy. So, our WASD are normal um, keys to move on a keyboard. Left mountain but left but left button to attack, right to skill, use mouse wheel to scroll through skills. Okay, great. So pretty much the the normal stuff. Oh, I see, I see. So I wonder if this works. This probably works with MMO mouse as well. So let's talk to this creepy lady. Does this flesh suit you? Uh yeah. Miko. Um well what's going on? Where am I? Whoa, what was that? Don't know. Yes, it does. Can I talk to you? Uh, oh, okay. Varak asked me to bring you here. Varak? Yes, I remember him. But how? Using your mind, my magic, and a drifter's body, you are now the custodian to this telekinetic vessel. How do you feel? I feel strange. Thirsty? Yes, this body is undead. Find Varric. He will explain why I've done this. Varric? What the... Go through the sewers to the warehouse. He's waiting for you there. However, I must warn you. This body's flesh and skills are weak. Yeah, I don't feel very strong. It's best you build them up as soon as possible. Increase your strength. 
Perhaps some charisma, or maybe some vitality. It's entirely up to you. But choose wisely, for the dangers in this dark city will test your capabilities quickly. Breaking the fourth wall, or... Uh, never mind. Anything else I should know? Yes. One more thing. Beware of the wraith. Neither you nor I own this body you possess. It belongs to the dead, and they will come for it eventually. Do not attempt to fight the wraith. It cannot be destroyed, ever. The best you can do is run or hide, and hope it returns to the darkness. Oh, great. Okay, so it looks like I have the option to use persuasion. Uh, my current weapon looks pretty old. You have anything better? So I assume um, the red means that this may fail, but let's try it anyways. You cannot do that. Oh, okay, so it means I can't use it. Okay, oh great. All right, so we have a crowbar. That is our weapon of choice at the moment. Um, so she gave us a warning to stay away from the wraith. Um, giving a quick look around to see where we're going. Um, okay, so taking items on the ground, press E to pick up any items nearby. Get close to items on the shelf, then keep pressing E to continue picking up any additional items nearby. Optional press F key to cycle through items to pick up first. Okay, is there like a like a like a pick up all thing? Um, let's see, gameplay controls. I'm trying to see if really quick if there's like a uh, auto loot or something. Nope. Okay. So we got E uh, for health. We got health. Um, equipping inventory. After taking the items, press the I key to open your inventory. Opening inventory will cause your mouse cursor to appear, allowing you to click. Okay. All right. So this is our inventory. This is what we have. Oh, so we have an axe. Where do we put the? Can we put that right here? So axe better than what we have. Um, it is. Okay, you guys can miss me with that screaming for real, for real. Okay. Um. Okay, finding secrets. Use vampire gaze skill to find switches. Fly through the gate and the lower wall. Um, red glow straight ahead and touch the exposed wire to short out the power. Then look for a nearby wall. Now open, revealing a secret room. Select vampire gaze skill with hotkey or scroll using mouse. Okay. So, this is my vampire gaze. How to crouch control. Okay. Flying vampire gaze through the grate should have helped you open a wall here. Press control to crouch. Okay. where I just came from. I don't see... Okay, is it a cooldown? I don't understand. So I hold it? No. So I can't move. Okay, I'm not sure. Health and thirst. Health, spirit force, and thirst are known in are shown in upper left corner. Okay, up here. Um, how high your health regenerates depends on your quenched thirst. For example, if your quenched thirst is only 50%, then you will only regenerate to 50% max health. You must bite to feed and quench your oh, so we're a vampire. Gotcha. Um, oh, are you serious? How to sire. Select bite using hotkey or scroll through the skills. All right. So 
Get near victim and hold right mouse button to drink blood. Re release rice, right mouse button to stop drinking. If you drink too much, then you will sire. If you if current bite skill level allows it. If your bite skill is low to sire, you will kill victims and lose it. So I don't want to kill a victim. I'm going to end up killing this person then. Oh, jeez. you serious? Release to stop drinking. <gasps> Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean to hit her. Smack her. Yikes. Okay, calling your minions. If you have Sire, then you can call your minions instantly by pressing the H key or send them away to heal by pressing the G key. That's a lot. I won't remember this. Minions only heal when sent away. Your start level, you start with level one bite, so you're allowed to sire one minion. Oh, so I can finish biting? Oh, I don't have any. Okay, so I have to bite. Ugh. Oh, did she die? Oh, she sired. Awesome. Oh. Girl, you look marvelous. You look marvelous. Okay. Um, important. Read carefully. This journey can be very tricky. If you are ever lost or not sure what to do, open your journal by pressing the J key. Don't be annoying me. <laughs> there are hints in your journal explaining how to solve quests. Certain skills are needed to complete particular quests. Press tab key to open all menu screens, character skills, etc., etc., etc. Ooh, wait a minute now. Let's let's look here first. Okay, we got we got. Okay. Oh, she she did it for us. Thank you. I'm a ninja. Ninja hat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that a ninja hat? Uh, requires nine charisma. Mm, strength. Okay. Now what is this? Meet an old friend. Okay. Varak should be expecting you and in, is inside the abandoned warehouse. Move through the sewers beneath the asylum until you find the warehouse sewer entrance. Okay. Um, magnifying moonlight. What is this? Did you know that moonlight is actually sunlight reflected up? Yeah, I knew that reflected off the moon. And when it's magnified through a special lens in the ceiling, it can be as bright as the sun and deadly to the undead. Perhaps there's a switch to close the panel to the ceiling. Ah, okay. So we got to find a switch. What is this? Maybe this is it up here? No, that's a light. And what is this? Um, hmm. Can I do this in first person? No, nope, this is all third person. Um, I'm assuming that I can't walk around this. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna happen. So maybe it's out here somewhere. What is this? Nope. Is that? Nope. Um, what about this? Can we? Nope, we can't do that. Beware the wraith. We'll pull you down to put you back into the ground. Okay, we know not to go there. No problem. Um, I assume we're supposed to go up this, uh, ladder. So press E. If you see the wraith run, possibly enter a new location quickly. So will I know what the wraith looks like? Where's my minion? Minions won't automatically follow you into new areas. Whenever you need help, press H for here to call your minion to fight. Press G for go away. Well, that's easy to remember. And send them away to heal or, or find loot. Oh, okay. First of all. Okay. Tanya, girl, you're a beast. Literally, you look beastly. Um, I mean, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying you don't look good, girl. You don't look good. Um, you, you don't look well is what I mean to say. That's what I mean to say. Um, this game's a little creepy. One line. 
I'm not gonna lie. Tanya, let's let's do this. We, we got this. Yes. Uh, shade earns points, XP points. Did I level? Then level. Okay, there's a chat, so that means we can chat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Tanya is no joke. Let's go this way. Let's just go this way, Tanya. I feel like we should go this way, Tanya. <laughs> Let's just go this way, explore a little bit. Um. Okay. That, holy! That's the wreath. That's the wreath. That's the wreath. Oh heck yeah! Run! Run, 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 run. I assume that's a wraith. That looks like a wraith. Jeez. Okay. Mmm. Let's bring my girl. Um. Interesting. Oh, no. Okay, so that's... We don't need to eat. No victims nearby. What does the two mean? Um, what is this? Um, I think... Is there anything to loot? Okay, that's not creepy at all. Oh my lord. Y'all, I feel... Um, I don't know how I feel right now. Let's see. Okay, that's... Okay, alrighty. Where are we at? Okay, so what is this? this are we, that's telling me I should go in there. But I... Okay, where did my girl go? Press E to open stash. Where? E? Is this E? Is this E? Oh, so I can... Put my inventory in there. Nice. Okay, well, we're not going to do anything right now. Uh, I think we need everything. Um, I didn't see anything that I need to loot, so let's just open up. I, I hope I'm going the right way. Uh, okay. Mm. Tanya? Girl, you need to find another way to enter. I'm telling you. Uh, oh. Are we supposed to go this way? <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta level up. Let me level up first. Um, how do we do that? So let's add some more, wait, add some more strength, add some more dex, maybe add some more vitality. Let's do that. Let's add a couple in vitality and maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, intellect. Um, is that it? Okay. I feel like we're going the wrong way. Let's go back. Yeah. So our old friend is somewhere in the sewers and we are apparently going the wrong way. Um, I feel like that door was a complete setup. I'm not going that way either. Um, what is this? Oh. Mmm. This is back where we were. Right? Yeah, this is. This is back where we were. Um, oh wait, Tanya leveled up too. Okay. So, um, or is this my skill points? Okay, this is mine. Um, what should I use? Secret sight, see through darkness, solid walls to reveal secrets, enemies, traps, and switches. High level allows for more to be seen while skill is active. Um, what about fire? Summons and shoots a fast moving fireball with your fingertips. Ah, huh. so this is like thief skills? Interesting. Freeze, shock, transform into a beast form, travel faster with claw damage, 
uses only melee equipment damage, thirsty quicker, stun, stunned less spiders, spiders and rats, crows do more damage. Oh, Ugh. um, night strike. Warp to enemies and strike a critical blow. Otherwise, only 50% of enemies health damaged. Some boss enemies are immune. Okay. So the bite. Feed and sire through your embrace to build your family. If you drink too much, you will sire or kill. Uh, yeah. So I can just, right now. Okay. Hmm. Poison slam, backstab. Um, what is mine? So I need rep with these. I wonder if you can gain rep with, um, oh, these are all skills. So just show me skills available to me. Okay, some, no. What is, what did I pick, you guys? What, what did I pick? Sire tree. Um, what is all this? Okay, this is a lot. Critical. Hmm. You cannot do that. Critical threat. Carefully proficient. 6% less damage to equipment and items. Can I undo this? Nope. Cannot. Okay. Uh, okay, that's it. Okay, so I do have skill points and I have talent points. Um, click sire to select. What is this? What does she do? She does, she gets points. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so I have v, v Tau. Um, let's see. Traps. That's traps for read. Okay. That's cool. Blood strike. Rat swarm. Oh, so we have an AOE. Hmm. Night strike. Okay, we can't use that. Okay, so let's try backstab. Yes, for sure. Um, okay, so we know that is that the right way to go. At least I don't, I, I think we know that. Let's not go that way, because that's where the, or was it this way? Girl, I think it was this way. Yes, girl run, girl run, girl run, because I think that was the wraith. Um, where? I bet you. Can we go this way? Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Hmm. Okay, can we save this? Okay, we cannot. You're in a you're in a dangerous area. Because of the nonlinear nature of levels, you may find yourself in areas with enemies beyond your skill level. If an enemy's level is shown in green above their health bar, then you can probably handle them. Otherwise, you may want to return later. Okay, we'll get the heck up out of here then. How about that? How about them apples? So, that's a dangerous area. This is telling me I should go this way. So, this is the way. Okay. Get it together. Um, well, okay. Oh, are you who I need to look, speak to? Varric. Oh, Varric. Are you in there, fledgling? Or I mean, Hunter. Ooh. Miko did good. Very good. Your flesh looks great. Though not sure why I'm so surprised, since she worked wonders with me as well. How do you feel? Varric, how do you feel, sir? Uh, yes, you look much younger than I remember. Do you feel weak after the process, too? That's normal. You'll feel better after you build up the best skills and attributes a bit. You want to explain why Miko put me into the body of a vampire? It would appear a shadow hunter destroyed a vampire emperor and an entire sect has made some of the other bloodlines a bit nervous. Oh, that. Yeah, I can see where they might be a bit nervous about that. In about 10 days, you're going to be greeted with over 9,000 undead at your doorstep. Judging by past events, I might normally have faith in your ability to deal with the situation. 
but it would appear the undead have stepped up their game a bit. Oh, how? The factions in this city, under the authorization of the Council, are working on a new synthetic blood. The project is headed by the Taka Corporation under the codename Nemesis. Nemesis. Neuroembryonic morphine immortal synthetic immune something or other. I like Nemesis better. I don't fully understand it, but I do know it makes the kindred even more powerful, much stronger with increased senses and the ability to morph into any organic creature. That doesn't sound good. It's not. And when I heard of this, I thought it might be in your best interest to pay a visit, to see for yourself, possibly delay or even destroy production of this new blood before the enhanced undead appear at your gates. You couldn't have just given me a call, huh? Maybe sent the plane ticket? I mean, that would make perfect sense. It wouldn't have worked. No. With the new blood drug coursing through the undead's black veins, they can sense any hunter cells nearby. Ah, starting to understand. The only solution is to place you into a telekinetic vessel. This is where Miko's talents come in. You should be safe from suspicion now, allowing you to move freely among the sect using only your mind and Miko's magic. All right, sort of makes sense, I guess. Oh, and you will undoubtedly notice that insatiable feeling of thirst for blood. I notice. I'm afraid that the authenticity was a necessity. So, of course, this vessel is a blood feeder. Great. Okay, all right. So, I'm here. What now? Taka Corp rented some space in Chinatown in a back room of a local herbal store. The space is probably being used for a lab of some sort. It's not their main lab, but it's still something worth checking out. Where's the store? Chinatown. You can get to it through the large doors at the north end of this warehouse. I saw those doors. Not so fast, since getting inside the lab section will most likely be tricky. So how do I get in? Giggler. Giggler, huh? Sounds like a real fun guy. Not exactly. In fact, he's just plain crazy. But unfortunately, someone you're going to have to meet. Giggler is the leader of the Bogata clan, and for whatever reason, Taka Corp is using him as their main guinea pig and test subject in their new blood trials giving him access to some of their restricted areas. So let me guess. I sneak in and steal his key? Taka Corp's security is a bit more advanced than that. Giggler probably enters the lab like other Taka employees using a retina eye scanner. So I will leave it to your imagination on how you're going to make that happen. He's got two eyes and I only need one. Shouldn't be too hard. Where is he? He's in the Bogata hideout. It's a warehouse converted from an old deep dungeon uncovered under the city years ago. The entrance is behind a large metal garage at the end of the first alley in Chinatown. Deep dungeon, huh? Let me guess. Giggler's not going to be on the first floor, is he? Not likely. Hmm. In fact, finding him probably won't be easy. His office is deep and possibly hidden. Better brush up on your intimidate skill. And then find a guard to interrogate and set up a meeting with Giggler. It's probably the only way you will ever find him. Intimidate skill, huh? Open up skills K and then get the intimidate skill on next level up. Gotcha. All right. So we've found uh, Varric and he has us looking for some guy by the name of Giggler. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end it here, guys. I, um, I'm i not sure how I feel about this game yet. It is a little creepy. It's certainly um, not in my scope of knowledge. You guys have probably seen me if you haven't. I had I did start playing, um, shoot, Metro 2033 Redux. Creep the heck out of me. So, I mean, this one's a little more palatable. But it is still it does have that high creep factor. So far, it's pretty cool. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on yet, but I assume as we advance and further the game, it'll be a little more clear. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope to see you next time. I will talk to you later. Ciao.